I couldn't help but notice, uh, but that's, that's an unusual necklace. You already hit on me an hour ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Look, can we can we talk about what happened here last night? Listen, I really need your help. I think I did something really stupid. Well, yes, Rachel, but you got something so beautiful out of you. Do you believe that whoever did something over here last night did what they did or didn't do? I mean, come on. I kissed Gavin last night. Well, that's so funny because I told Monica we should put lights on our balcony. And she said, no, no, it's too cold. Nobody will go out there. And I said, maybe if we put some lights out there, they will. I was at home the whole time. How did I miss that? Well, it was the end of the party. You were probably ironing wrapping paper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I saw Rachel kissing some guy on your balcony, even though there were no lights. <laughs> Single white male, divorced three times, two illegitimate children. <laughs> All right, you know what? Enough. Enough talking. I, I have to get moving. Um, here's a question. <laughs> would, you, would you rather drown or be burned alive? <laughs> I don't believe this. I just keep striking out. I don't get it either. <laughs> I mean, you're obviously desperate. You're asking women how they want to be killed. All I ever wanted was to just love him and have him love me back. I mean, am I so unlovable? Wow. I know. This is your daughter? <laughs> See, I could be your new mommy. <laughs> Ross, you didn't tell me you were a doctor. How long have you known her? Like an hour? Actually, about an hour and a half. <laughs> Sounds like you need to think about what you want, and, and you definitely should talk to Ross. I can't do that with someone who brings crazy women back to my apartment. Hey, none of the same ones wanted to come back with me. 